This is an update on what is now Superstorm Sandy. It's no longer a hurricane, but it has still has hurricane characteristics, well, mostly nor'easter characteristics. So let's get right into this. This system has 946 millibars. The pressure has come up a little bit, but don't let that fool you. This thing has a major storm surge that is coming into New York City, anywhere from 9 to 16 feet here, depending on where you are at. Uh, over to the eastern tip of Long Island, Long Island Sound. Islip is reported 93 mile per hour wind gusts. I'm overlaying the wind gusts here. Um, this system is packing a punch. There is 90 mile per hour winds in Jersey City. Um, over towards Boston, just south of Boston, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, all these islands out here, as well as the coastline, Providence, Rhode Island, 83 miles per hour. And heading down towards southern uh, New York here, we've got uh, mostly 80s, low 80 mile per hour wind gusts now. And we head down towards Atlantic City where um, that's where the center is. The winds are coming down quite a bit now that we're getting right into the center. Uh, but Atlantic City, most of what I understand is you can't even see most of the cars on the road because they're completely submerged. So the water has really been piling up in Atlantic City most of the day. And that is what's happening in New York City now as in Long Island and some of these sounds over here in uh, Rhode Island and so southeastern Massachusetts. You have this southeasterly fetch now that the winds have switched from uh, northerly to, to easterly now and it's pushing the water on shore here from New York City all the way over to Long Island Sound and south of Boston. This is where what's happening and we got these bands, most of the heavier rain is back here in the interior sections from the Chesapeake Bay, Washington, Baltimore, all the way up to uh, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and these areas. And we have a lot of wind inland here, like Elmira, New York, 51 miles per hour, Syracuse at 46 miles an hour. And here at my station here in West Corners, New York, uh, reporting uh, the highest wind gust so far we've had is 31 miles an hour, but we are in a sheltered valley, luckily. So, and rainfall has been fairly low through portions of New York State here, which is good, so we don't have to worry too much about the flooding. Hudson River here is dealing with high tide right now. Also, uh, the, the water's backing up here near York, New York Harbor, so the, 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 there's some flooding going on here in the Hudson Valley region. And uh, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, the people out on Long Island here in New York City, down to Atlantic City, and over towards Providence, Rhode Island, south of Boston, this is a complete nightmare here. This is it's we're going into dark here and winds are gusting 90, 95 miles per hour uh, and we have that storm surge of 9 to 16 feet in most sections. And in New York City they're shutting the power off to lower Manhattan now uh, since uh, the storm surge is getting into the subways and that's where the power lines are and they can't shut the switches down if there's salt water in those areas. Um, and we, we have literally close to four million people now without power across the Northeast. So this continues to get worse by the moment. Sandy is on shore. Its center of circulation is on shore right now. I'm meteorologist Mark Muller. Don't forget to visit my Meteo Mark page on Facebook. Like it and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. I thank all my new subscribers on YouTube uh, for subscribing to my channel and I'll continue to provide you with the top quality weather news information. Oh, and don't forget to visit my website at www.mediomark.com.